Hey everyone, happy Sunday. This is what you get, I'm super tired, but um, I wanted to jump on video because there's um, a fair amount of you that are kind of asking about how to read the body fat once more. So this was sent out if, um, at the beginning of the challenge, but now that I think about it, it makes sense why maybe right now we're kind of um, asking how to read it again. At first, maybe it wasn't the top priority. So if to get the most out of this video, here's what I suggest. Either hit stop or um, watch it when you have your body fat test in front of you. That's gonna make the most sense. So really what you need, everybody, is that first page and you go all the way to the bottom and you see it says body composition and it's basically a bunch of graphs um, and it shows your week's progression. So it's gonna show your weight. And that is pretty straightforward. Obviously, if you went up, um, we want to figure out why, and that's what those remaining dots are. But wait, you either go up, you go down, you stay the same. Right below that, there are two letters that say SMM. It stands for skeletal muscle mass. Now that is a direct reflection of your lean muscle mass. So if your weight went up, but your skeletal muscle mass went up also, or your muscle mass went up, chances are your body fat went down. Remember, putting on muscle means that your body has to work at a faster metabolic rate. So it's always going to lead to body fat drop if you actually put muscle on. That doesn't mean that's all you're doing. So here's the thing with that number. Um, in a perfect world, it either stays the same or goes up just a bit. If that number drops and your weight drops, your body fat will probably go up. So what that means is if your weight drops and your muscle drops, you did not eat enough food or you didn't consume enough calories to support the amount of activity that you did. So if you're doing eight or nine classes a week and you're only eating the meal plan that I gave you, which again was based off of one class a day, you're gonna see a larger weight loss drop than you are a body fat percent drop. We'll come back to that in a second. So PBF, so it goes weight, skeletal muscle mass, or your muscle. The next one is your body fat, percentage body fat. And I think we can read that one. Where people are getting confused is why am I losing weight but my body fat's going up? What's going on there? And that is just what I explained, which is whenever your body is not getting enough nutrients for your activity, you will increase your body fat and drop your weight. Now, this is the biggest thing about a calorie deficit. At first, you're gonna lose weight and you're gonna lose body fat, but there comes a point where you've gotta eat enough to support what you're doing, um, your output. So the big question I got this week was, hey, why am I losing weight and why is my body fat going up? That's why, you're probably not eating enough. There's another component that can affect everything and I was gonna actually speak to this tomorrow, but I'm gonna speak to it today. It's the very bottom number and it's a ratio. It says ECW slash TBW. And that means extracellular water weight to total body water. Now everyone is different, but for most people, um, you wanna just take a look at this week over week over week. If you're 0.36 something, in the 0.36 range, you're usually good 0.361 to 0.36, eight or nine. Usually when we start getting to 0.37, or if you see from one week that your water really went up 0.36, let's say to 0.374, that's a ratio. Basically what that's telling me is there's something off in your body. And ultimately, unless you completely overdid it with carbohydrates, um, which would cause water retention, that would probably also cause a body fat increase. Things that can affect that number for women would be hormones. Um, if you're not getting enough water, you can actually retain water. But I think what a lot of people don't realize is if you don't get enough sleep or you're super stressed, you're not getting into that phase two deep sleep where you actually wake up feeling rested, your body will retain water and it's going to show on this test as an elevated ratio. That could show something like this. Your weight went down a little bit, your skeletal muscle mass basically stayed the same, but your body fat barely moved. Or you did drop weight and you dropped muscle and your body fat, you know, went up. Um, so that water, you guys, can be a reflection of your recovery. And it can also be a reflection of your hormones. So if like a woman's about to start her period, etc. Now, if you're gaining weight 
and gaining muscle mass and your body fat's not dropping down that much, you're probably not on enough calories as well. So if your body fat's dropping a little bit, but you're gaining weight and that sounds odd, chances are you're not eating enough. And um, that's where I say, you know, you can reach out to me, but the best way to figure out how many calories you need is to take your average calorie burn and add it to your basal metabolic rate. So I know that there's a fair amount of you out there that have asked me this question and you guys are, I'm seeing these crazy numbers with these, these workouts, which is great. You're taking eight, nine classes. That isn't the food I gave you is not enough. It is not enough. So either back off the classes to support what you're to support basically the food that you're eating or recalculate how much food you need and then add that to the meal plan that I gave you. Um, I know that sounds like a lot. This is what I do personal coaching wise when I work one on one with people. But um, I hope this helps with reading that test and especially with that water. So it's not like one specific number fits all, but it is more, um, how does that water compare to, to the week before? And again, like I said, I am seeing an increase this week, which could be stress, I have a feeling it is, and it could be lack of sleep as well. If you guys still have questions, shoot me an email. I promise I can help with that. Um, I figured it'd be easier to go on video. Hopefully this makes more sense, and I hope you guys have a great Sunday.